So let's talk about the volume of distribution. The volume of distribution tells us how extensively drug is distributed to the rest of the body compared to the plasma. So here is any volume of water, and we can measure it in liters. And let's add any amount of drug, a drug dose, and we can measure that in mass units, usually milligrams. So once we add a specific amount of drug to a specific amount of water, we know the concentration. So now we have a concentration of drug in solution, and that's measured by the dose of the drug over the volume of the solution. And this is very simple to measure. So if we take this any volume of water and measure it in liters, we can call it a compartment. And as we go through pharmacology, we will talk about various body compartments and compartment models. Let's think of this compartment as the total body or the total body water. So when we put a drug into the single compartment, we can easily surmise the amount of drug in the total body. And that can be described as a dose over a volume, which is a concentration. Well, now let's divide the total body water into two compartments. The plasma compartment, the liquid component of blood, and the rest of the body. These two compartments make up the total body compartment. The plasma compartment and the rest of the body compartment, they are not the same size. The water compartments of the total body are 0.6 liters per kilogram. Extracellular fluid is 0.2 liters per kilogram. Blood is 0.08 liters per kilogram. The plasma, 0.04 liters per kilogram. So you can see the plasma compartment is very small compared to the total body water compartment. The plasma compartment of a 70 kilogram person is about 3 liters, whereas the total body water compartment is 42 liters. Well, it would be very simple if a drug was added to the total body and distributed evenly between the plasma compartment and the rest of the body. But that is not the case. So rarely is a drug evenly distributed between the plasma compartment and the rest of the body water compartment. Some drugs will remain mostly in the plasma and not be distributed to the rest of the body. But some drugs are extensively distributed to other parts of the body. So again, volume of distribution tells us how extensively drug is distributed to the rest of the body compared to the plasma. The volume of distribution is defined by the ratio of the amount of drug in total body to the concentration of drug in plasma. So the volume of distribution is equal to the amount of drug in body divided by the plasma concentration. And we can abbreviate that V is equal to A over C. So if a dose of 50 milligrams of drug A results in a plasma concentration of 0.1 milligrams per liter, and we plug that into our equation, that means the volume of distribution is equal to 50 milligrams over 0.1 milligrams per liter. So, if a 50 milligram dose of drug A results in a plasma concentration of 0.1 milligrams per liter, the volume of distribution for drug A is 500 liters. Well, how is it that the volume of distribution for drug A is far greater than any actual compartment volume? Our total body water is 42 liters. So how is it that we have a volume of distribution of 500 liters? Well, that means drug A is extensively distributed to other parts of the body. 
In this situation, it is due to extensive tissue binding of drug A in the rest of the body. So if we add 50 milligrams of drug A, resulting in a plasma concentration of 0.1 milligrams per liter, conceptually, this is the same thing as adding 50 milligrams of drug to a single compartment of 500 liters. So the volume of distribution tells us how extensively drug is distributed to the rest of the body compared to the plasma. So the volume of distribution abstractly describes this in terms of the plasma as a single lone compartment. The volume of distribution is not an actual volume, and it may be much, much, much higher than any real body volume. But because it's based on easily measured parameter, volume of distribution is an essential component of many of the pharmacotherapeutic equations that many of you going into the professional pharmacology business will need to be able to understand. So again, the volume of distribution is equal to the amount of drug in body divided by the plasma concentration, and we abbreviate that V is equal to A over C.